What's going on YouTube land? It's your boy Drizo, and I'm back with another video. I am actually on the way to work right now. Um, so after last night's video, of course, I got a couple people that didn't even watch the, you know, video and just assume that I said that drug users aren't people. That's not what I said. Uh, you clearly don't know the constitution and you're an idiot. Anyway, um, I just got done watching uh, a couple of briefs and clips of, uh, and I want to make sure that I hold his title in the upest regards, former senator and former vice president, Joe Biden, who is acting <clears throat> as the current president of the United States, or whatever you want to call it at this point. Um, and he, he brought up all these new gun laws. Uh, all this stuff that he is signing with executive orders, uh, all the you know millions and millions of dollars they gave to different states uh, for red flag laws, which is completely unconstitutional. Uh, you cannot take away people's firearm rights before just adjudication of whatever. Really, you can't take them away at all unless uh, they're in prison. Um, but nevertheless, uh, so this uh, Captain Dumbass, uh, first off, slurred, stuttered his words, didn't know what he was saying uh, half the time. But he said something about every responsible gun owner would agree with this stuff. I'm here to speak on record of all those responsible gun owners. Uh, we don't agree with shit, you say. Uh, you are a horrible, horrible, horrible representation of the United States of America. You only represent certain parts of California, Washington, and New York, and New Jersey. You definitely don't support any of red-blooded America. Um, basically, what he's doing is he's, he's trying to say that I need to keep guns out of the hands of felons, and here's what he said, domestic abusers. That is going to come back to bite him in the ass. Because domestic abusers in the Class A Lautenberg form, whatever you want to call it, do not have a pathway to restore their rights aside from presidential pardons or suing constitutionally. Felons, I know, in the state of Texas, it costs about $345, and as long as you've been a good person and you have enough letters, uh, you get your rights restored to you, and you can buy whatever gun you want. Uh, so my question to uh, former senator and former vice president who is acting acting as the president now, um, do you mean them too? Or do you just mean ones that commit crimes? Or do you mean the ones that are in jail? Because if that's the case, uh, they don't have guns. They can't get guns. They're not allowed to have guns. It's one of the stupidest things I, I've watched. Um, the reason I don't talk more about him, and to be honest with you, is because it is so painstakingly head-wrenching, just massive migraine to even listen to this ass clown talk about anything. Um, it is it is annoying. Uh, half the stuff he says, he, he can't even get out with a you know, complete sentence. Uh, he stumbles over his words. He doesn't make sense. He's a freaking puppet with a hand up his ass. And he just, he does not speak for Americans. If, if you agree with President Joe Biden, I, I can say it, and, I, and I'm not going to feel ashamed of it. You're not an American. There are maybe, maybe like one or two things that like he said that like I could kind of get on board with, but ultimately what it comes down to in those two instances is just a government becoming bigger and spending more money. So it actually does the exact opposite of what I want this country to be and what many Americans want this country to be. Um, so yeah, guys, I just wanted to get on here real quick, give you my little piece of information. He's signing a whole bunch of unconstitutional stuff uh, with executive orders, red flag laws, uh, wanting to do universal background checks, saying that you can't do private sales, uh, how many guns can you sell before you have to become an FFL, uh, then restricting who can and cannot become an FFL. Doesn't make any sense to me. Uh, sounds like a bunch of ass backward things that he's talking about where he's just crossing over one another to where basically it cancels itself out and nobody can have their second amendment rights. Um, mark my words though. He will in fact bite those words. Uh, whether in the rest of his 
acting or for the following predecessor who will actually be a president. <clears throat> Assuming no elections are stolen, those laws will fall. I don't care that you have all these fights going on in New York, California, uh, New Jersey, you know, Oregon, whatever, right? You have all these fights over some really serious stuff and then really just some minuscule BS that doesn't mean anything. Um, the biggest thing is prohibiting somebody. Maybe you're watching this or myself. You prohibit me from keeping preservation of my life. Keeping me from overthrowing you, the tyrannical government, is unconstitutional in itself. That, in turn, enacts the Second Amendment. That is what the Second Amendment was for. It is not for hunting. It is not for target practice. It is not so you can tell me I can have a permit to carry a weapon. It is for a tyrannical government, domesticated terrorism, or across seas. Domesticated terrorism is not what you think it is. Domesticated terrorism is the government trying to overreach and strip you and me of my rights. It will not stand in this country. Uh, it will fall. Uh, we will see freedom. I'll see myself carrying a Glock. I'll see a bunch of other people who have been prohibited for 10, 20, 30, 40 years, productive members of society, law-abiding citizens. The real, we the people, earn their firearm rights back. This has been your Daily Dose of Drizo. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. God bless you. Stay safe. As always, I will see you in the next one.